Hey, experts. Wanted to drop a cool fact that I just learned on you. One million Earths fit in a sun. And facts like this are totally why I think nonfiction reading is so cool. You come across all of these facts and details that just blow your mind and make you think of new ideas like, wow, the Earth is pretty darn small. And oh my goodness, the sun is pretty dang big. Now, sixth graders, as you read more and more this quarter in the topics that you love and want to be experts on, you're going to have details coming out of your ears. So I want to teach you a strategy right away as we start this unit for keeping track of all your ideas as you read and become experts on topics. I want to teach you that experts collect details, cool details from what they're reading, and they put them together to make an idea of their own. So uh, as we go through the through the quarter, you're go going to sometimes hear me refer to details as buttons. And what I'm really referring to are these little dots here. And when we talk about ideas, I'm going to sometimes call it a box. And the reason for that is one way that writers capture, uh, or excuse me, that readers capture the, all the details and put them together is in a button and boxes. So these would be our buttons and this would be our box. Okay. So, uh, I often find myself using two questions to help me think through these two steps. When I collect details, I think about what do I notice? And when I'm trying to put them together, I think about what am I learning? Okay. And one topic that I'm super interested in is mummies. Mummies. So I want to show you how I do this. So let me just move these things around just a titch. So thinking about my, collecting my details, what do I notice? And also, what am I learning? When I put all of those details together. Okay. So I was reading this page, kind of looking through it. And I'll show you kind of the tricks I use as I read. So I know that from the title of the page, that the topic they're going to be talking about is mummy making. Now I want to ask myself first, what do I notice? I want to collect some details. So like I noticed that this mummy must be tucked in a box and the box is made of stone and like that there's string or hair all around. And I'm noticing that as I read a little bit, that when something dies, it decays. And I'm seeing that decay means to rot or break down. And that insects, wild animals, and bacteria eat parts of the body. Okay, so I'm also noticing that insects can make a body uh, decay or break down. Now, what I'm noticing are some details. So I want to collect them here on my buttons. So I'm noticing that uh, mummies are in boxes. Oops. Mummies are kept in stone boxes. And they look like they're covered or wrapped in string. And let me read on to see more. A mummy is a dead body that doesn't decay. A mummy can be made in two ways. People can use bacteria killing chemicals to make mummies, or if a body is in the right place at the right time, it can also become a mummy naturally. In those places, any dead body may become a mummy. Okay, so I'm also realizing that um, not only um, they can be Mummies come from uh, chemicals or um, naturally. Details are barely fitting in here. So I've done my job of collecting these buttons. 
Mummies are kept in stone boxes. They're covered or wrapped in string. Mummies can come from bath chem from chemicals or uh, from being in natural places. So, hmm. Now I'm going to move on to putting these details together in my own idea box. Okay. Now it's really important to remember that this is not an idea that I find in my in my book, but this is an idea that I find in my head. So think of yourself involved here. These are my little eyeballs. So I'm thinking, okay, they're kept in stone boxes, they're covered, and they can come from chemicals or natural or naturally. I'm thinking really that mummies need to be treated in a certain way, not to decay, okay? That they either need to be kept in stone boxes or wrapped, or they have chemicals. So nowhere on this page did it tell me that, but I collected my details, I thought about what did I notice, and then I put the details together by asking, what am I learning? So my words fit in this box, and the details in the text help me get there. Sixth graders, can you pause as I open up to a new paper, and you're going to try the same thing with a different page okay so I'm going to pause I want you to pause on this page and freeze your screen and I'll get in nice and close I want you to do what I just did which is think about what do I notice and what am I learning and put collect a co excuse me let me say that again first collect details by asking yourself, what do I notice? And then put all those details together in the box with your own idea. And where you can find this is by going to Schoology to the assignment called button, oops, the assignment called mummies. button and boxes. So go try it out on your own, then come back and check in with me with the video. All right, now that you got to try it in my book, Mummies, it's time to try it in your own book. So as you read today, remember that you are reading for 80% of the time is you reading Okay. Hey, look at me, I'm happy to be reading. And 20% is you writing. That's our best rate. During those 20 step 20%, what I want you to be thinking about are these two questions. What do I notice? And collect those details on your buttons. And what am I learning? How can I put all those details together to form my own idea? At the end of class, you're going to be posting this to buttons, buttons, and boxes, one. And you can do this in your notebook or on Notability. All you have to do is make those buttons in the box that looks kind of like this. If you have any questions, come check in with Miss MP.